tooth. Tooth, that's just fine. So entire tooth, and now we're getting into something else. What do you see right there, real quick? Sap. sap. What kind of, you, you're seeing not just sap. Latex. Latex. Latex, right? You're seeing the product of all of these busy latissifers that are creating latex in the sap. Remember that, we'll get to that. This leaf, now this is actually a, um, not a, the best example I could use. For right now, let's just pretend, and we're gonna call it lobed, okay? Like this, I'm gonna take this off actually. Can you guys see that's lobed? We have lobes standing out off the margin like an oak leaf or a maple leaf has these portions of the leaf that are separated from the other, but not completely separated. See how those lobes are completely separated? See, there's actually little thin stalks. So now we're talking about a leaf that's compound. It has separate leaflets. Whereas so I'm gonna you, line might, them up. you might think that those are different leaves. That's one leaf. leaf. That's right. So entire toothed, lobed, compound. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. This plant that I just picked will be anywhere from simple to lobed to compound. It's really variable. And that makes it hard for me to share with you how the heck you identify it. Mm -hmm. Except to say that this species typically has these lobed two, when I say two I mean varying two, compound usually arranged in threes. Can you see it, guys? Mm. There's two lateral lobes here, or leaflets, and a central lobe. The white latex, this is a plant that's in a different genus, but belongs to the same tribe as lettuce, dandelion, milkweed? No. This is a composite, okay? So we're dealing with the aster family. And Knowing that it's a member of the aster family with latex, I know they're all edible. They might not taste good, but not one of them can poison me. I want to make really clear, I didn't say every plant with white latex is edible. I said every plant that is an aster family relative with white latex is edible. Dandelion, great example. It has the white latex. Lettuce and the wild versions, white latex. Goat's beard, um, Tragopogon porifolius. What's that called? Like salsify? salsify yeah. yeah, thank you. I don't, like, I'm bad with common names. <laughs> Sorry. Um, salsify is another one that's like that. Um, that is a latex bearing member of the aster family. Those are all edible. Okay? And whereas, like, with an oak, the sinuses are really regular, this looks totally different. Oh, no, this, and this is totally almost. different. Now, this will give you guys an idea. This is very close to what, what the wild progenitor of lettuce tastes like in terms of its bitters. This is going to get worse um, as the season expands, but right now, at this early, early part of the year, this is when it's most edible. Some bitter, but totally tolerable. You can eat several of them without a problem. Yeah. Unfortunately, the bitterness is the result of terpenes, so cooking, because terpenes aren't water-soluble, doesn't do a heck of a lot to tone it down. Only a little. Same with dandelion. It's bitter, you cook it, it's still some bitter. Do you know what I'm getting at? So it's water-insoluble phytochemicals with this. So what do we have to do? It's timing. It's edible right now, and soon it's going to be a medicine. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. This is called, the genus is Nabalus, N-A-B-A-L-U-S, and it's called rattlesnake root. Rattlesnake hyphen root. That's the common name? Common name, yep. Reason? Sorry? Is there a reason? Uh, I, some of the species were thought to be remedies for snake bites. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to see more of this plant around, okay? Mm -hmm. We've sort of eaten this one up. So we're looking for this deeply, deeply uh, incised leaf in terms of these deep sinuses between the lobes, the white latex, the pattern of three, almost glossy, no hairs coming out of this. Uh, it's not really a rosette because this is going to have a stem, but I'll show you more of Nabalus trifoliolatus. Yeah the rattlesnake root, so that you guys can clue in on this, because this is the only time we can really eat it.
After that, it becomes a sedative, an analgesic, um, and an antispasmodic. It's similar in, in action to lettuce. It's almost the same compounds.